All right, well, hello everyone. As you can see, got the bike up on the stand because it's time to change that chain. And with that, have the tools I need. And for those who are curious, right there next to it are also the new turn signals and new tail light, which will be its own separate video. If if I get to it today, great. If not, it will be another day. But so as you can see the setup, got the front wheel straight so the bike actually sits straight, locked in place, rear lifted up on the stand, but just in case, kick stand down just in case anything happens. So now, in order to get this job done, we have the new chain, which does have a master link inside, but better safe than sorry. Never hurts to have a couple spare master links. But to get to this, a couple things we need to do. We need to take this cover off. We need to loosen up this nut and the one on the other side. And then we can take all the tension off the chain to actually properly set the slack on the new one once we get it installed. So let's just get right into it. Oof, beautiful, but that's what we have the, the towels for. Also, big thing to remember, the actual chain brake and rivet set comes in handy. Let's start on this side. side loose. Now that one's loose. Now for the 14. If I remember right, it's 12. Look at that. Now on this we go. And there we go, wheel is all the way forward. So we should see a lot more slack. Oh, and look at that. So one way to help Having that handle in to get a little bit more torque. And it comes with this. But you know, sometimes that doesn't quite do the trick.
There we go. And there's the old rivet. Put that down after. Because we are going to need that when we put the new rivet on. So, see here, brand new chain still in the box. Came with the master link with some grease for inside the bushing. And that's also why I have those cams over there to loop the new chain. I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll pull the old chain off like that. <clears throat> See how it's got the rust and everything. Yeah, it was time. Another thing. A lot of side play. Not good. <sighs> Gotta love beagles. And this is where the number of links come into play. Because this is a 120 link chain. Now, as you can see, I don't need all 120. Now, to figure out where we need to cut the new chain. So master link's gonna go. Right there. All right. There we go. So now we have the chain lined up. Yeah, these are work pants. So now comes the really fun part. Yeah. 
one on. Two on. And then we grab the grease. As you can see, it has a channel. that there. Put some grease on both sides because now it's time for the next two. The next piece to go on is the faceplate. As you can see, because of everything, it doesn't really go in by hand. That is where we go back to the tool. Put those plates on. These are the plates that help cinch it all together.
those loose. Time to set the tension. go. Alright. Now this is where I have the torque wrench, but let's go ahead and look up the value. 620. So that's where we come to this guy.
God love that shit. There we have it. Chain is swapped. And because I want to, and actually. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen.